Oh, hi. I love my tools. I get to do so many fun things with them. You know, my most favorite of all, though, is I do this outside, of course, not inside, is my saw. Ah, oh, it is the best. Do you like tools? I bet a lot of you do. They sure are fun. Well, you know, it reminds me, because today I can use tools, but when I was a little girl, I used to want to play cowboys with my brother. I think I've told you this story before. And I always got so upset. I told my mother, but he gets all the great looking pants. They had chaps on them and he had um, bells on his boots and it was at fringes on his shirt. And I just had a plain cowgirl dress. It was very disappointing. But today, you know, girls can wear pants and boots and they can do jobs that men used to do. And you know what? Men can do jobs that women used to do. We seem to put a lot of um, sexuality on the toys that we give children to play, like, okay, the trucks are for you, honey. No, you have to play with the doll set. Um, and our clothes and hairstyles. But here are a few pictures of people that uh, break that stereotype. And actually, that's more of uh, what we are doing today. It's how things look today. Today's story is about a little boy named Dyson, and it's a true story. He likes to wear pink dresses, he likes to dance, and his mother wrote this story, he's four years old, so that others could get to know him and know how much she loves him and how special he is to her. So take a look and see if you wouldn't also like to get to know Dyson better. My Princess Boy by Cheryl Kilo Davis, illustrated by Suzanne Dissimo. My Princess Boy is four years old. He likes pretty things. Pink is his favorite color. He plays dress up in girly dresses, and he dances like a beautiful ballerina. My Princess Boy has a cool brother. His brother plays football and soccer, and his brother dances with my princess boy. My princess boy loves his brother. My princess boy loves his dad, too. His dad tells my princess boy how pretty he looks in his dress. His dad holds his hand and tells him to twirl. And my princess boy smiles and he hugs his dad. My princess boy has playdates with both boys and girls. He likes to climb trees in his princess boy tiara crown. When he plays dress up, he likes to change clothes a lot. He wears a green ballet leotard and dances with his friend. I love my princess boy. When we go shopping, he is the happiest when he looks at girls clothes. But when he wants to buy a pink bag or sparkly dress, people stare at him. And when he buys girls things, they laugh at him. And then they laugh at me and it hurts both of us. Once my princess boy wore a dress to his birthday party. He welcomed his friends to his home and said, I am a princess boy. And he put on jewelry and liked how pretty he looked. He waved his princess boy wand. One Halloween, my princess boy was a princess. He went trick-or-treating with his brother. One woman laughed at him because he was in a princess dress. Why did she laugh at me, he asked. And I told him, some people don't think a boy should wear dresses. But a princess boy can wear a dress to school and I won't laugh at him. And a princess boy can wear pink and I will tell him how pretty he looks. A princess boy can play with me in a pretty girl clothes, and I will stay and play with him. If you see a princess boy, will you laugh at him? Will you call him a name? Will you play with him? Will you like him for who he is? Our princess boy is happy because we love him for who he is. My princess boy is your princess boy. And we all love our princess boy. The end. I'm so happy that Dyson has such wonderful parents and a brother.
They obviously love him just for who he is. They love him unconditionally. And it fits right in with our, our two stories today, one from Matthew 22nd, where the Pharisee lawyers are really giving Jesus a hard time because of the way he looks on the outside and where he came from. They're judging him. And so they're saying, they're trying to trick him. And they ask him, which is the most important law? And he says, to love your God with all your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. And Paul, when he's talking to the Thessalonians, models how God treats his people by the way he treats people that he's teaching and helping to support with kindness and love and forgiveness and acceptance. So as Dyson's mother urges us, let us try to be more tolerant, to be more accepting of people and I think being a little more accepting with our little boys so that they can grow up and be nurturing fathers and dads and men. So this week, see if you can't find somebody that you think looks a little unacceptable and someone you just really do not relate to and try to get to know them a little better and look at them as God would look at them and see if you can't see their special gifts. So have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for coming and joining me today again, and I will see you next week. Amen.